anticipating that there was a missile turret underneath that floating barracks, or perhaps he was able to click it. So good work there by Bisu, uh, not getting hit by any mine shots. And Bisu um, now has a shuttle out. So Bisu with a shuttle out, I don't think uh, mine has mines yet. Um, he does have vultures. I'm not sure if he has mines. He does have commsats coming up, but he could be in big trouble from a, a DT drop here. And I, this is what I think mine didn't anticipate at all. Uh, Bisu's uh, shuttles could be uh, the death of mine here. Uh, I don't see any spider. Now, um, now he's moving in here with both DTs probably in the... And looks like he's getting a drop off successfully inside the mine space. Mine does not have any vultures here, nor any mines, nor any detection at all inside his base. Uh, his his commsat will be up pretty soon though, so he will be able to scan. But meanwhile, uh, these DTs are going to be creating havoc inside of the base here. Um, looks like a scan going off now, and they should be taken out right now. Uh, yes, they are taken out pretty easily. So, um, Bisu unable to do too much damage, but once again stopping mine's uh, creation of his, um, of his factories there. And, and mine caught off guard by that drop. Luckily for him, he did have those commsats up. Otherwise, he would have been in real trouble. And it looks like, actually, Bisu may have... Uh, pr I actually, I think Bisu pr uh, picked up his DTs. That's why he's still flying over here. Uh, or perhaps just doing more scouting. I'm not sure exactly what. He might have one DT left. Looks like he did have a DT up. And looks like it's chopping away at the supply depot. One more scan, it will be get... Uh, that will have been gotten rid of, though. Um, it looks like um, mine just planting mines next to there. Uh, it might be able to pick off the supply depot, actually. Uh, looks like a vulture coming down there. Um... And uh, Bisu's gonna pick it up. Yeah, Bisu picks it up. So <laughs> sniping off a supply depot there. Good micro by Bisu and saving his DT. Uh, Bisu meanwhile is taking this distraction to the time to take his uh, second base, second expansion rather, at the uh, inside position there, at the inside 10 o'clock, which I believe has gas. So I think Bisu is definitely taking a lead here. Uh, he's also securing it with a couple of photon cannons, uh, which is a very smart move against. Um, against mines, uh, spider mines and vultures here, and looks like uh, vultures trying to do harass, but um, being spotted by Bisu, and looks like uh, trying to set up a container also, but also spotted and destroyed. Meanwhile, mind is moving out with his uh, tank force, though, and he needs this, um, he needs this push to stick here. Uh, he needs to, to be successful against Bisu to do some economic hurt against him. Because so far, he's just completely been on the receiving end here, and you don't want to be on the receiving end of Bisu. Um, and Bisu now, uh, yeah, he's spotting this attack, but it looks like Mine's going to use that ridge line there uh, to, to create a bit of a contain. Uh, not a full contain, it looks like. And uh, But positioning his tanks very well, though. Looks like a DT drop being dropped there. That was unsuccessful, though, unfortunately. Mine scanning it uh, very quickly. And looks like Mine's going to pick off this uh, tank there, actually. That ridge position actually wasn't so good. And he might get flanked, actually, from the right side, which would be very bad for Mine. It looks like uh, another DT was attempted to be dropped there. Uh, I think DTs are a little too expensive to be used like this, actually. But looks like um, Bisu actually is going to get among these tanks, I feel. Um, uh, actually, no, Mine's still managing the hold, I think, uh, barely with those vultures. But uh, that shuttle might prove to be successful. And looks like uh, Bisu getting getting through with four more, no, almost getting through there with a couple more um, zealots. Really close uh, fight there, but I think mine's actually going to come out ahead there. So quite surprising, mine actually taking that battle. I thought Bisu had a, a very good flank there, but um, uh, I guess his shuttle play just and everything else wasn't wasn't enough to take it out. But Bisu going for another attack, I don't think this is going to succeed though, because uh, really, he's just got a couple more units, but he might be going for uh, an attack on the main though of mind while these tanks are in the central position. But they are very dangerous for him, though. Um, he might not want to do that because if he, it, because if mine moves out, he's gonna have nothing in front of him to stop this push. And looks like yeah, mine uh, just able to defend his tank position. This is gonna be really bad because soon he will be able to split Bisu's forces in half here. And looks like he's going for the the traditional slow push, which uh, basically means the Terran pushes forward with turrets and um, as as their anti-air and tanks. Uh, and looks like Bisu is able to catch some of these reinforcing uh, positions. He might get a surround on the tanks now, who are isolated on top of the hill. And um, Bisu, though, uh, getting behind those tanks, we'll see how much damage he can do. Meanwhile, uh, the, the tanks are creeping up towards Bisu's base, using the missile turrets uh, to protect against shuttles and DTs, of course. And looks like, yeah, that brave SCV working all alone in the no man's land there. Uh, now in tack going in towards the main here, I think Bisu is going to lose these forces, though. These Dragoons are caught in between a huge uh, amount of tanks. And looks like, though, he manages to get uh, some Zealots up to Mine's tanks. Mine's tanks are just all over the place here. And Mine actually might lose this battle, surprisingly, even though he had a buttload of tanks beforehand. And wow, um, Mine actually forced to retreat. He's going to lose his contain there, and uh, possibly the game now, because his, his gambit has not paid off. Meanwhile, Bisu has, has um, gone up to Arbiters. He's teched up to Arbiters. 
Arbiters here. So Bisu showing some excellent micro there. Mine showing some poor disorganized play there. Uh, losing his tanks in the center. And Bisu might come out on top. A really champion play by Bisu here. And I have to say, um, I think Bisu is going to win this game. Uh, I might be calling it early once again. But mine did not take the time to get another expansion up. Uh, actually, he might have an expansion at the 7 o'clock. I stand corrected. But uh, certainly, it's not fully up. Um, and Bisu has taken out almost all of his forces in the center. So Bisu now advancing rapidly into the center. Uh, taking out all the tanks. Looks like, yes, he barely is getting his command center up. And now, mine forced on the defensive. Um, really, I thought if he had organized his units a bit better, he had just had them scatter around completely, and Bisu was able to get a great surround there. Uh, really, just like playing like the Vietnamese there, uh, forcing the uh, Americans up a hill um, and just surrounding them from all sides and destroying them. Uh, really, just playing guerrilla warfare there, and uh, it proved out successful for Bisu. Um, and it looks like he's going to get his tech up now, and he and mine's going to be in really big trouble. Bisu's going to get his uh, fourth base up now. And uh, Bisu just unfazed by the lack of gas. He's stuck to building a lot of speed lots and uh, just a couple of dragoons, not going for any Templar tech or anything like that. Also, not going for um, uh, not going for any high Templar tech, rather, not going for any reavers or anything like that. Just knowing that he has very limited amount of gas and he has to use it wisely. Meanwhile, mine trying to get harassed at this uh, newly being built um, expansion, but I don't think it's going to be much. It's just uh, two two vultures here. Although they are going to do some damage to these dragoons, it's just not enough. Uh, mine really needs to at least get on top of the ridge. That's going to make a huge tactical difference because his forces. Uh, over here, right here, are below the ridge, and they need to get on top of the ridge uh, and hold a perimeter, or else um, Bisu is just going to be able to s just uh, run down the hill on top of them, and uh, Mind will not have uh, vision of them as he's running down. Of course, the, he will also have to suffer the miss uh, probability. Looks like now the attack coming from the right side from Bisu. Mind does have a lot of tanks, so we'll see what the Arbiter attack is able to do, though. Uh, that could, could prove to be critical here. A good stasis would be able to get all those tanks in one hit, um, and then basically seal uh, the fate of Mind. Meanwhile, mine trying to get up an expansion there. I don't think that expansion is going to go up, though, uh, at the inside uh, 3 o'clock position. Bizu pushing in now with a lot of zealots. Uh, mine has a sort of a contain there with um, uh, th those uh, with those uh, missile turrets, but looks like uh, the, uh, t uh, the zealots managing getting among the tanks. And mine not having enough vultures to help defend his tanks. This is going to be a good game for mine here. I think uh, mine is going to lose this expansion, and with it, um, any hopes of coming back in this game. He has lost all of his tanks, and Bizu still has his arbiter alive. Uh, no goliaths around to to, to uh, fight against it, and probably not enough scans to even deal with uh, this cloak here. Um, and now Arbiter even getting on in on the action here. So Bisu's showing that he still has uh, he still has what it takes to defeat a very solid uh, Terran player. And Mind has to GG here. GG from Mind. Uh, comprehensive game from Bisu there. Uh, doing a very good amount of harass in the beginning with his uh, first two units. Uh, first Dragoon and Zealot doing some damage and then following up with DTs and finally uh, breaking Mind's Contain. Very well played by B, so I hope you enjoyed uh, Day 2's commentaries. Please check out Day 1's by Clasart, and the later days will be posted up on sc2gg.com. Uh, thanks for watching. This is Cholera. Leave some messages.